Hello and welcome back to my channel. My room is in a little bit of a tip as I am currently working on getting another project finished this weekend so that I can um, finish that video and get that uploaded to you. I'm so excited for you guys to see what I've been working on. Um, I've been doing a couple of videos that take a little bit longer to film, um, which is much harder for me because then it's a little bit longer between when I start it and when I get to upload it and share it with everyone. Um, but yeah, that's why my room is a mess. But this video um, is one that I've been wanting to make for a little while now. Um, I did again start this a week or two ago, but I wanted to wait um, so that it had full amounts of content. Um, so today, welcome to How to Take Notes with Me. Um, I use a um, dotted notebook and Tombow brush pens as well as um, pur a purple ballpoint pen and some Crayola super tips. And uh, in this video, I am walking you through how I take notes um, from transitioning from a Word document onto my paper so that you can kind of see my process. And then I also am including um, some flip through clips of the notes that I've taken so far this semester. Um, if you like more videos like this, I definitely can um, walk you through some different subjects and how I use it best. Um, and I have a few other ideas related to that. So just give this video a thumbs up and let me know if there's anything specifically you'd like me to address in a video like that. Um, so without further ado, I hope you enjoy. Basically, um, I take notes in this journal. Um, I think you guys have seen it before. It's basically a big bullet journal and it has like dots and it's still orange, just like the one from last semester, um, cause it goes with my bullet journal. So there's that. We're going to start on a fresh page. And then I have my notes from my reading, um, which I usually don't like split them up. I usually don't type them before I um, write them down but I didn't have my notebook with me and I wanted to get this reading done and this teacher doesn't let me like doesn't let us use our computers so I definitely need to have it like either printed out or in this notebook so I figured I would take the opportunity to show you how I take notes because I mostly use this format when I'm in class but it's hard to kind of explain that like I can't do a how I take notes with me in class exactly so so basically each class has a color. Um, in this case, my common class is purple. Although I don't vary, I use my purple pen. Um, it is a one I got from Office Depot, like in a whole pack. I always use purple pen for taking all my notes just cause like I bought these pens at the beginning of the year and I've just been using them for everything. They're really fun and they write really nice. Um, but this class is purple. So I have, I use my three um, Tombow brush pens in all three different shades of purple. I really find that having two shades is really nice um, for sure, but also like having a shade light enough that you can highlight over pen and still have it seen is really important. And then I use two shades, sometimes three shades, depending on the class um, of Crayola Super Tips markers. So I have like a lighter purple and a darker purple. And so I use the same, like I use purple for this class, which is Calm, my Calm class, and I use it always. And so I'm going to put reading at the top of this page because I title what class it is if it's a class section like a lecture and I title it readings if it's like something I did on my own. Um, and I vary my style when I do this like you see like I kind of was gonna write the whole month and then decided I didn't have space to fit that in. Um, sometimes I write like out like sixth but instead I just wrote 14 today because that's that space I had um, and it's kind of like helping me practice getting read like using my brush lettering and things like that. So I really enjoy that. Um, and then I'm just going to show you like how I copy in these notes, which I usually would like read and take these notes as I do it or listen in lecture and take these notes as it comes. Um, but for the sake of this video and the way that it worked out, I have it all written out and I'll kind of show you how it turns out. Okay, and so then I want to give you just a little brief like overview so you see like this is what it looks like in my notes and this is what it was and so I just find like this information like easier to consume and like I'm a very visual learner so like seeing this will help me to remember this information. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick time lapse of me finishing my notes and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. The 
first page and I have probably half a page of type left and this was like almost a full page of type and I know I missed a lot of this section but that kind of leaves space to take notes and like here it's space to take notes like in class if we talk a little bit more about it uh, I just like to keep a little bit of space to like continue to build upon it either when I'm studying or in class um so basically like this I felt like it was a really important point so I broke it down here this um we have a big thing with like names on exams so I try to like write down names and then like this is like the main idea but then this is like the actual text in case I need it we already talked about like how I like to see this split that's an important thesis the book purpose is split up and I can see that really clearly um and then here this whole text talks about like the economics versus the first like two issues that are created by this thesis and so then I'm able to discuss these things and then I only highlighted like one thing here and one thing here but sometimes also when I'm going back through if something's important in class I'm able to then highlight on top of this so I'm gonna do page two and I'll talk to you when it's done <music> basically this is page two um it's a little bit doodly which isn't always the case but this just kind of like warranted it and I think it'll help me remember these things better again like I just marked out like a big passage by these lines um and I em emphasize some important words again there's another person with a new quote um I marked out journalism because I feel like these were the major claims of this section um important words things like that so um yeah, I know that like this style won't work for everyone, but it keeps me really entertained and helps me to stay focused throughout the whole thing, as well as make different connections, like having to come up with examples and things like that. And also from a visual appealing standpoint, makes it really easy to study for. So this is the final list. So we have page one. And page this also was an eight page reading um, in a book. And so it kind of depends on what the medium is and like how many pages it is, what density of reading, what class based on what they want you to get out of it, like how much notes I really take. But I do tend to take about two pages per reading if it's shorter. Maybe it'll only be a page or a page and a half. And sometimes if there's more technical information, it'll be three or four pages, um, like this being two pages. <laughs> so much for tuning in um again i really hope you enjoyed this video if you are not already a subscriber to my channel um please give that subscribe button a click and hit that bell notification so that you never miss a uh, video that i post um again like this video if you like content like this and leave me a comment of either how you take notes or something else you'd like to see me try and um let you guys know about what i think um thank you again so much for watching it really means the world to me and i hope to see you somewhere else on the internet bye